Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's time for a new prompt and this month it's on your travels. Um, now of course it's main vacation holiday season for many of us so I thought this was quite an appropriate one to go for at this time of year. Now you've probably gathered by the selection of pebbles that I've got in front of me that your challenge this week is a bit of pebble art and if anybody's freaking out at this point you can blame Weenie because <laughs> she was the one that requested it. Now I've had this um, collection of pebbles in my stash for a couple of years. I collected them when we went camping to um, to Wales um, and I collected them along the beach. I started finding heart-shaped pebbles and of course it triggered a bit of an obsession. I've got a couple of other shapes as well so this is what I'm going to be working on but you know go and dig around in, in your garden you'll find lots of decent sized pebbles for you to work on for this and I've got some really easy ideas as well. This doesn't have to be difficult. I decided to work on um, this stone first and I'm going to give it a coat of white gesso um, just to prime it um, and because I want to add a top coat of colour and this will sort of help iron out any sort of areas where the stone is uneven and give me a better coat I am hoping anyway. So I'm just going to go over this try and get it as even as I can and then give it a quick dry with my heat tool. Had two coats of gesso and if you're planning on painting your pebble um, you will need to either gesso or give it a coat of white house paint first because of course pebbles are very porous um, and if you just go ahead and put a top coat of paint on in a colour of your choice it's just going to stick, uh, sink straight into the, the stone. Now I'm going to be using um, chalk paint here. This is the Pebe Pebio Deco Cream um, chalk paint and this is is designed for painting furniture and that kind of thing so I think this is going to be a good choice for painting my my pebble it's nice and and thick and you see that's going on really really nicely um, so I'm just going to coat um, the whole of the pebble in this gorgeous green um, I'll see if it's going to need more than one coat and then I'll be straight back that's my pebble after one coat of paint and the good thing about using chalk paint is that it dries exceptionally quickly um, now I don't think I need to to add a second coat but I'm going to just for good measure anyway um, just so that I've got a nice even surface to work on you out there that are thinking oh no not another small fiddly project I'm going to cheat um, and show you how easy this really can be I mean not difficult to paint a stone in this way I've got this napkin and I have fussy cut one of the hearts out and this just goes perfectly with the color that I've just painted my stone and I am just going to use some Mod Podge um, this is Mod Podge uh, Mod Podge matte and I'm just going to apply a coat in the center of my stone and I'm going to glue my napkin down so let me just have a have a look and I want it to go something something like this so I'm just going to really gently now this is napkin remember just gently smooth it down onto my my stone Going all the way round like like this. Now I'm going to embellish this um, a little bit more, but um, you know you don't you don't have to. You could leave it at um, at that. And also think about stamping a design onto a piece of plain tissue paper with your your stamps as well. I think I'll try that um, a bit later um, and applying it in the same in the same way glue has dried now and I just want to add a few doodles. I've got my painting by numbers um, set that I picked up in the scrap store and I just want to add a few doodle dots around the outside like like this. You don't have to do this of course but um, I'm just going to go all the way around the outside. 
that's that one finished and you can see that I've added some more dots to the central heart and I'm going to call that one done. Before I move on to do one more for you, I just want to talk about the types of paint that, that you can use. I've tried all sorts to do the testing for you. I watched a video and I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. A really helpful chap um, and he said that you needed to use household paints really for, for this. Um, or enamel paints was, a, was another option but definitely good quality acrylic paint I and he also mentioned that craft paint wouldn't work and I disagree with that as long as you prime your pebbles um, well beforehand he was using um, household paint uh, just white household paint to prime his stones I've tried that and that is better I've also tried gesso as you saw household paint to prime your pebbles definitely definitely works better um, but once you've primed your, pe your pebbles um, well then other craft paints work um, um, two. This here is just a regular cheap craft paint. Do Crafts Artiste. These are 99p, you know, quite watery, thin in consistency compared to um, something like an Amsterdam acrylic. Um, and although I admit this has taken more coats, it's covered it. It's absolutely fine. Um, so I've had no problems with that. This is a household paint and um, this one took um, quite a few coats as well. I think this took three or four coats because it's very, very pale in colour. This is um, the chalk paint that you saw me using um, earlier and I just love the finish of these. They're lovely and matte and, and chalky. So, you know, those are my preference. This one here I really like. This was um, an Amsterdam acrylic. This is Venetian rose. Now this has got more of a shine to it. It's sort of like um, a a semi gloss sort of satin type finish and these are even shinier this one here is one of the Dina Wakely um, acrylic paints this is ruby and this only needed one coat it covered brilliantly but that's even more shiny than the um, acrylic that's another Dina Wakely that one there is olive and this took several coats so I think it depends on the pigment in the paint that you're using as well because I had to cover this um, with four coats of paint as with this one here this is elephant I I think another Dina Wakely um, and that took four coats of paint this was a cheap stencil paint that I picked up from Lidl supermarket years ago and again brilliant very matte in finish it's sort of like a household paint for stenciling walls one coat was all I needed um, and again these two here are chalk paints again um, and you, you saw a couple of coats and they cover cover really well so you know use whatever paint you have but you might find that you need um, three or four coats to get a good finish. I'll try stamping um, my own images and see how well that works. I've stamped this owl onto a piece of tissue paper and it's this owl here from the um, Do Crafts Paper Mania Urban Stamps and it is the perfect owl, perfect, uh, sorry, perfect partner owl folk. Um, I've used archival ink um, to do this. You want something that is permanent and waterproof. And what I'm going to do is I am just going going to apply some water around the outside of the owl just so that I can tear um, my piece of tissue so that I've got jaggedy edges. Let's see if we can we can do this and I'm hoping then that you won't be able to see the tissue paper. We'll just have a nice um, image on the stone. So let's see how we get on with with this. There we go. Let me just give that a quick dry for a second. Now I did end up tearing a bit more of that excess tissue away and I've got my Mod Podge here at the ready and I'm just going to apply some over the stone and then we'll stick this down in the same way as we did with the first one and keep our fingers crossed. So how do I want that to go? something like like that and again I'm just going to be really gentle with this and stick it down just apply a bit more a bit more glue and I'm hoping when this dries that you'll barely be able to see um, the, the tissue there we are so I'm going to give this a zap with the heat tool and then we'll color color it in so the glue is dry and you can barely, barely see it. But me being me, what I'm going to try and do is just make it even um, more unnoticeable 
and I'm just going to go with a bit of paint just around the edge here just where the just where the edge of the tissue paper is and then I just don't think you'll be able to tell at all and I should give this a quick zap and I'll come back and I'll show you what it um, looks like after I've done once I've done this so there it is and you can barely see the tissue paper now and I've just gone over this with a coat of clear gesso um, just to give myself a key to work with because of course it was shiny Mod Podge before and I'm just going to use um, some alcohol markers just to colour this in so as soon as I've finished it I'll come back and show let's you. Let's have a go at painting one with a Posca paint pen. Um, I am going to draw a heart there we go let's and I can oh I've got this ridge in the middle of this one here well that one went a bit wonky so let's fix fix that and I'm just going to color color this in and we'll see how well Posca paint pens work that's what it looks like with just one coat of Posca and I am just going to go over it again. I'll just repeat the process and then I'll show you what it looks like um, then. Let's charge up my pen. I want to add some dots around the heart again. I'm going to use a bigger dotting tool this time. I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to go all the way around dipping in each time this time um, just so that I get even dots. There we go, and I'll carry on until I've finished. I've continued adding my dots all the way around my pebble. Um, and you can see I've added some in the centre as well because I'm going to use some of this um, Ducraft Artiste paint now. And I'm just going to make some flowers. Now, I've hit a problem. I found that um, the Ducrafts fabric paint isn't very good for dot painting and so I'm just using some regular um, Crafters acrylic um, to go over the pink ones and I use my Reeves, um, oh gosh, what do you call these, painting by numbers paints to do the orange. I don't know whether it's the fabric paint. Um, it's got sort of like a glossy finish and it just doesn't work anywhere near as well as um, regular acrylic so I'm just going over these um, but how pretty is is that and I'm just adding some blue dots to the centers of my flowers just to tie it all together I just love this double double dotting um, and I think what I might do I might add some blue um, dots just in the areas like this where we've got these blank areas oh that's cute yes I I like that and I think I'm going to add some blue to the centers of my white dots here as well for good measure are just so much fun I just love doing these and as you can see I've decided to go round again with another layer I've used a crochet hook for it this time in in the blue paint again from my painting by number set that was £1.50 from the scrap store by the way um, and I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I think what I'll do is go over the blue in some pink now I've continued going around with my smaller crochet hook and I love how that looks and I'm going to be patient and wait for this to dry because I'm not sure whether I want to go back in um, with another coat of the blue or just leave it as it oh, is. That's definitely the right thing to do. Can you see the difference? Oh, it's just so pretty. I just love it. And I'm using a slightly um, darker shade of blue as well. So here's my finished pebble and as you can see I ended up adding another layer of white. Of course you know me, once I start I just can't stop. And you can probably tell as well that this has had a coat of varnish. Let me just show you what I used. I used the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Protective Coat um, in the clear gloss finish. Um, this is really easy to apply. You spray it on and I must have added three or four coats to this until you know I was happy with the level of gloss that 
I've achieved. You need to do this in a well ventilated area. I bought this um, for anybody here in the UK from home base. Um, it's about £10 um, for a can but will last a very long time. You can of, your, of, of course use paint on, varnish or even probably Mod Podge as well. I'm sure Mod Podge would probably do much the same thing but if you want to display these outside you'll need to do that because otherwise the paint will just wash off. So let me just bring back some others that I've been doing as well because of course I just could not stop at three. Of course I couldn't just stop at three pebbles could I? I was having way 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 too much fun. Um, these four here were stamped images on tissue paper applied to the pebble in the same way that you saw that I did for the owl. I think that's just a really quick and easy way to decorate your pebbles. Um, primarily I used the Letraset Pro marker and this Tinge brand of alcohol marker which is just a cheap one from, where's it from? The Works here in the UK. I did try using Sharpie markers um, but they just weren't very vibrant and didn't work for this for some reason at all. Whether you know the stones are too porous I don't know um, but you know I look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to interpret the prompt this week. Do google it, um, look on Pinterest because there are so 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 many ideas for this um, and I look forward to seeing you know the ideas that everybody else decides to come up with in the group. So if you enjoyed this as always I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments below and if you're not subscribed to me already then you know press that um, subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell for notifications of my future videos and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.